Welcome to the Kansas City CJ Marketplace, a series of seminars designed to help you make the most of your publisher account here at Commission Junction. My name is Susan Kelson. I'm the Trading Manager for the West Coast, and I'll be working with you in this session on how to manage your data feed. Product catalogs or data feeds are the best way an advertiser can provide publishers are working with on detailed and up-to-date information on all the products and services that an advertiser offers. Because of that, uh, many publishers, for many publishers, they're a key part of their affiliate marketing program. And the CJ account manager allows publishers to self-service access to manage their feeds. So you should know that you can change any of the parameters of your subscriptions uh, by going to the account tab, sub tab services, and clicking on edit for your current subscription. You're able to change anything, including uh, the format of the document, the delivery method, and as well as the advertisers that are included. That particular task is covered in an additional session entitled How to Add Advertisers to Your Data Feed. If you add websites to your account and you intend to use data from product catalogs on them or create links from them from the data feeds, then you should create a new subscription for that site. By selecting the site you intend to use when you create the subscription, the correct PID will automatically be inserted to any links you create from this feed. If you need to create new passwords for receiving your feeds, you can click on the links. Uh, and we'll go to the training account. We'll take a look at all that. Once we care. So again, under the account tab, sub tab services, you're going to see all of your existing. Uh, you can create new ones. But let's go in and we can edit here that you receive on a regular basis, you'll have the option to either edit or delete. You can go into edit. Uh, as we mentioned, again, you can change any of the parameters, email contact, the name, the format that it's exported in, transport method, recipients, you can change or add those. Change or add the advertisers, again, always remember to save the changes when you make those. Uh, it's greatly in your feed. On create product exports, and again, all those here. Email contact is the user setting, naming the subscription, format, transport method, etc. It's really easy to go in and do that. And again, if you have a new uh, website that you add to your account and you want to use product catalog data from it, you should go in and create a new feed for that new website. Something else that we mentioned show again is if you're receiving uh, the feeds by either the CJ FTP or the CJ HTTP, then you want to go in and create a new password. You just click on create a new password. The new password is going to be sent to the email address that's assigned to that feed. And again, you can change that by editing the feed. Uh, and of course, when you make any edits, be sure you click on save. Now I want to just go over uh, couple of recommendations that we have for feed subscriptions. First of all, using the Commission Junction for your own FTP site are the best way to receive uh, the feeds. Selecting all advertisers when you set up a feed or edit a feed will ensure that you will receive product catalogs from any advertisers you're working with. That way, when you join or leave advertiser programs, your feed will automatically be updated. If you don't use that choice, then you're going to have to remember to manually add or delete them as your relationships change. You can also search for product catalogs using the Find Product Catalogs box. A couple of things to keep in mind. If you're manually adding advertisers, then you would receive the new advertiser's catalog in your feed the next time the advertiser uploads an updated catalog, not the next time you get the feed. So it would wait until the advertiser has an updated feed and then send it to you. Something else to be aware of, the advertiser's catalog is only going to stay in the publisher's accessible directory for 30 days. If the advertiser does not update their catalog within that 30-day period, then the catalog is going to disappear from the directory. If you need to see the old catalog and you just click on Edit Current Subscription and then Save, it reinitializes the entire subscription and the old catalog would be there. So uh, as we mentioned already, but it bears repeating, create a separate feed for each of the websites you intend to use the data on, and that ensures the insertion of the appropriate PID in any links you create and keeps tracking accurate. Publishers also use a variety of tools to help them manage the information they receive from feeds. We have a couple uh, of the easiest ones to use listed here. Those applications help you organize and access the data you receive. Now, if you have questions while you're updating your feed as a CJ account manager, you can 
click on the online help. Actually, let me go back to training accounts. So here I'm, I go to all online help. While I'm on that page, it's going to give me the, pay, uh, the help for that particular page. So I'm on the account tab. And services overview gives me all this information about what's going on, some more information about create VPN editing, product catalog. So again, access the online help. There's a lot of information there. Probably will answer your question. Uh, if you have a question that wasn't answered in the online help, you can go to contact us. I would recommend also checking the FAQs. Because again, uh, you're probably not the first person that has this question. So if you have anything related to product catalogs, you can search by data transfer. And then there are subcategories within, within that. So that will help find the appropriate questions and answers for you. Uh, and if you still find that your answer is not there, you need to ask a question. Note again that we have some drop downs related directly to the catalog. account manager to uh, self-serve the management of your data feeds quite easily. Thank you for attending this session on how to manage your data feeds.